Hey guys, we're here playing some Just Cause 2, and this game might be the funnest single player game I have played all year long. So if you're looking for a game for Christmas break, I would definitely look into it. It was on sale for $5 on the Steam, <clears throat> on Steam yesterday for the winter sale, or whatever they call it, and it was definitely worth it. I've been playing this game for probably a good three or four hours. <clears throat> and I'm still discovering new things every single every single game or not game every single time I okay. Let's see mm. so basically um, this game is very similar to Grand Theft Auto and Far Cry and it has a little bit of elements from infamous if you know like the territory conquer stuff and the factions and the gangs and all that crap that's what I've discovered. Oh shit, I didn't know that. Alert! Reports of hostile in the area! All your available units respond! I accidentally tapped my mouse, I didn't want to fight them yet. Is it blind? Is it blind? So this is ziplining. At least I call it. This reminds me a lot of um, Spider-Man. Except it's obviously not like genetically modified. Crap. That might be an enemy airplane. Is that it right there? Or is that a bird? I can't really tell. Let's just skydive a little. It sounded like a car was coming after me. That was pretty fucked up. Salva Mia! See, my friend Saud. <clears throat> Alright, so now we are in one of the enemy bases of the island of Panawa, as they call it. Basically, you go around and it's just like Far Cry with the checkpoints and stuff, and you can take over the checkpoints and they won't be there anymore. But in this base, you have to um, unlock chaos by destroying things, and that's the way of getting money, which I think is pretty fun. I don't mind blowing up things. Getting a little lag. See the, the cases and stuff. You have to, you have to find all the things. It'll give you like a percentage of discover of things discovered on the island or of the uh, location. And then once you get to hundred, I think you gain control of that territory. But I'm not hundred percent sure. See, watch. That's weapons parts, I think. Ooh, and then there's vehicle parts. So you have 19 percent of this area. This is probably making me 38. Point. Watch where you're going! Bitch. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's get this one. Let's see if we have more weapons. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah. So I'm going to um, start engaging these uh, Yellow is a faction friendly to me, but they got me back. At least I think so. So 
I don't really know what just happened. I thought... I thought I saw my yellow friend on this red vehicle. But then there's a red 4x4 right there. Oh well, I'm not gonna touch that. Oh, okay. Yeah, destroy this. there's two different colors for the gang faction. There's yellow and then there's um teal or seed. Let's try something. Pretty sure I can fuck shit up up here. Yeah, hunting la. We have hostiles in the area. Sending all available units. I'm going around. The group. I think I can escape. Colonel Salam.
pretty sure I can like shoot people with my grappling hook. Let's try. Shit. Yeah, there we go. I'm on a GTX 260. Um, if you guys have any ideas, I was um, actually at Fry's the other day. And I was looking at GTI 450s and 460s. Or should I just save up and get like the GTX 260 or 560 for about 250? I don't know. Some of you, let me know what you think. I might even go to Radeon. I've never had a Radeon, so I need some coaxing to convert into that. Let's go to I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I have any actual PC gamers on my YouTube thing because all my videos used to be on consoles. But I don't know. Also, if you're like like on the edge of deciding on getting a gaming PC, I would definitely do it. It's, it's so much more convenient having everything in one system instead of having to like shut off your PS3, go to your computer. You can just do it all on your computer. Oh, yellow, this might be the yellow faction. Gun parts. Basically, what gun parts mean is uh, you can upgrade more from your black arms dealer. This is gonna be part one of my Just Cause 2 gameplay. It always makes it weird when there's like numbers in the game, like Just Cause 2, Modern Warfare 3, Battlefield 3, all this shit. Uncharted 3, Left 4 Dead 3, Fear 3, oh my god. The list goes on and on. Well, this is part one, and part two is coming up shortly. Hope to see you there.